largest uh, electrical contractor. Um, we have over 1,200 employees, right? So, so it's, it's, a it's a large company. We have over 200 apprentices in New England. So we, we do projects throughout all, all the New England states, and we draw apprentices from everywhere. We have a lot of work in Connecticut currently. Um, we're actually slide needs to be updated a little bit. We're, we're uh, just celebrating our, our, our 38th year. Um, this is a picture of Wayne, and uh, Anthony will attest this is this is what he does and who he is. You know, he's a very active owner. Works seven days a week in the office. Um, it's, it's a family-owned company. And Mr. Arpin said we're uh, in August we're going to have a, a company-wide picnic um, where all the employees gather during the week. They get a day off with pay. We rent out a Park space, and we have prizes, and bring your family, and just relax and say thank you. So, so we are we are a family, you know, a family-based company. We'll talk about the, the nuts and bolts of it, but but uh, our, our apprentices come here on Saturday mornings for, for school. Um, in this office, also, we have project management. It's where Anthony's office is. It's where HR is. It's where our, we have an estimating department. The folks who who uh, get us to work. Um, we have a safety and training department. About 200 people. serve. Uh, we're, we're, we're based in, in, in Massachusetts, so we do projects in Mass. We do projects in New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Maine, Vermont. We also have offices down in the southeast. So we have offices in Georgia, Alabama, North Carolina, and South Carolina. Okay. Um, now, what does that mean for our employees here in New England? It could, it, it's opportunity. If, if you want, if you're interested in, in, in relocating and working for the company, we have offices and apprenticeship programs in all those all these areas. The same curriculum, the same class that's being taught in, in New England is being taught in all of our regions. Um, so it's nothing that we would require you to do. We're not going to say, all right, Austin, you're going to Alabama. That's where you're going to work. No, but, but if you said, hey, you know what, this, this is a neat project. We did the NASCAR Hall of Fame in North Carolina, and uh, a lot of people from New England were, were excited about that project. An interview is um, generally takes about an hour and a half. It's not a you know you're in you're out. It's not a you know you, you're hired on the spot. We're very process oriented. So what we do is we'll give you an electrical assessment. We give you all candidates 55 questions, multiple choice. Just get a sense for for your knowledge of, of the theory of, of, of the electrical trade. Um, we'll ask you some questions. We'll go through a lot of the stuff we, we went through here today. But so do you understand the commitment? 
initiative, you know, for safety, um, and, and you know, we evaluate whether or not it's, uh, it, it's the right choice. Most most people, if you do those things, all people, if you do those things, you pay for your short time. And what time should you be there? 15 or 20 minutes before 7 o'clock, right? Yep. You build in that 15 minute buffer, you've got time to sip on a cup of coffee, get your tools ready to go, so at 7 o'clock you are making money for the company, right? You know, and then the safety thing too, right? Anthony, I mean, you could comment about that a little bit, about, you know, getting on the job sites and wearing, the, um, wearing your uh, company uniform, making yourself look presentable. Safety shoes, safety glasses, hard hat. Yeah, safe, I mean, safety nowadays is really important. I mean, the days of the Cowboys are over. I mean, we used to call it shirts and Cowboys. And, you know, we can, I did live work when I was an apprentice, but those are long gone. There's no more of that. So, you know, hard hat, safety glasses, uh, making sure you shut stuff off when you're working on it. Those are all very big things. And we have a safety department that's very committed to enforcing those. We, do, we deal with OSHA regularly on our projects. Uh, they show up you know, through site visits. And, um, you know, sometimes they cite people and there's issues, and sometimes they just walk through. And, you know, 90% of the time they're just walking through and they say, okay, Bergman, good to go. Yeah, have a nice day. We'll see you next time. So, um, and they can show up anytime. Anytime. No warning. No warning on the OSHA inspectors. So it's, uh, it's definitely a challenge with the safety stuff. Material. So it's like cost, cost plus, basically. So like your time and the material will be filled out at a rate and then a certain percentage on top of that. Uh, the company invests a lot in employees' professional development. So it's, um, we have in-house night courses um, that are um, voluntary. So these are these are things that we offer um, each month. A newsletter goes out and says, "Hey, this month this is what we're this is what we have available." If you're interested, just sign up. And personal development computer skills. But we also have, you know, your license, you need to uh, have continuing education classes to keep your license active. We have code refresher classes that we offer at night. Again, this is this is free and it's, it's some, uh, some important stuff. And just uh, some other uh, in-house development courses. Okay. How, how many um, hours does Massachusetts require for uh, continuing education? So that's a state requirement, so yeah. 32 hours. Yeah. Interesting, because Connecticut is, uh, right now, Connecticut is four hours a year. And um, the day after, uh, two days after your graduation, I'm going for my CPU classes in Middletown. But it's, it was seven hours, and that's made it four. It reduces yeah, it yeah. Four so, it's, so now over a three-year, Connecticut, so in Connecticut, it's only uh, 12 hours. Interesting, you guys are, uh, Massachusetts is much, much continuing education because the deal is, is that you know as the code changes every three years you've got to stay on top of it in order for you to do quality work you've got to stay on top of that code but a company like this I mean look look at the list of topics over there and think about the things that we've tried to cover in, in the time that you were here some of that stuff we never got to some of it we just touched on but it's great great opportunity for you to continue to learn because remember Always remember, the more you learn, the more you earn. That's 